All right, uh, welcome back. I'm Brian Ladd. It's uh, it's Wednesday, March 31st, 2009, 11:28 p.m. Um, I have on the phone uh, as usual, usual Deborah, and I have uh, Gail St. John. Um, Gail St. John is planning to making making a trip down to Florida uh, to help uh, assist in the search for Aji Desir. Um, Gail, thank you for being on. Yeah. Um, okay, what I know is you guys are planning to go down. Uh, you, uh, Tamara, and Reggie are planning go, to go down to Immokalee, Florida, um, the, the search for uh, for Aji Desir. And I think you're also planning on um, uh, possibly searching for Haley Cummings, correct? Correct. Okay. Um, you have raised, we, we just talked about this earlier, I just wanted to make sure I wasn't recording so everybody hears this. You've raised uh, approximately $1,100 and you think you're going to need another $600 uh, for the airline tickets and additional expenses uh, when you go down there, correct? Right, right. Okay. And we're hoping also that we find someone who's going to be uh, someone's local, who, uh, you know, that's close, can pick us up like at the motel and, and drive us around, you know, for the day. Mm -hmm. That someone has an open time and a vehicle and can actually come and volunteer with us to uh, drive us, including doing the blind drive with us. Okay. So what what we need, what, what Gail needs is um, we need donations totaling approximately $600. Um, if you want to make a donation, please go to psychicgail.com. Um, I think there's a link on there that says donate, correct, Gail? And then we're going to need somebody that lives approximately around the Immokalee area uh, that can provide transportation. I think I that covered for you, Gail. Okay. Well, just in case okay. they, they can provide transportation uh, in, in possibly a, a couple nights' stay. Um, we're, we're trying to keep this as cheap as possible. Um, Gail, how can they reach you? Um, well, if they want to email me, they can email me at my personal email, which is psychic, P S Y C H I C, at dex.net. Okay, and once again, that's uh, psychicgale.com, and uh, you'll actually see the case there. Um, and uh, if you wish to donate or help out in any other way, uh, please let Gail know. Okay, that's yeah, it. Yeah, we do have someone. Okay, go ahead. We'll be coming in on the middle of the week, um, and that's the Mel Penny Country thing, so everyone knows that we're coming in the middle of the week. Okay. Because the weekend, if you come in the weekend, it's way more expensive. So okay. we're going to be coming in on Wednesday. So then three flights, where are you flying out of? We'd be flying out of Toledo Express, which we have to pay for uh, Reggie's in Cleveland, so we have to pay for the bus tickets, which is about 25 bucks to, to get him here. Okay. Okay. Um, we can see if we can make that yeah. happen. Go yeah. ahead, go ahead, Deborah. You have a reader down there in Florida, in the area, not less than an hour from Immokalee, okay. that is willing to provide assistance for transportation, um, possibly lodging, um, things of that nature. So I will get in contact with her then. Um, she okay. has offered if you need it. Um, she is someone that generously donated to get you guys down there too. Okay. Well, you know, and, and I appreciate that. And the thing we need to is if, if they're willing to drive us and they haven't come a time to spend the day with us, they will be spending the day with us. She's very willing to do that. 100% to be spending the day with us. They will be doing the blind drive with us. So whoever is transportation gets to go on the blind drive. Okay. Um, yeah, speaking of the blind drive, a lot of people uh, have seen that blind drive. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Jamie. Um, uh, Jamie is uh, plans on uh, to donate to you, Gail. Thank I you I just got a PM. Much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, let me write a little thank you there. Thank you, Jamie. I have actually spoke with Jamie on the phone. She is really awesome. Well, then, you know, the thing is, if you, you know, um, if they don't want to be filmed, we will be filming the blind drive. And no, I cannot, make, I can't guarantee that every blind drive turns out like Kaylee's and, this, and some of the others that we've done where we found people. Well, Gail, so I, um, so if you are best that we can, we're, we're down there. But, I mean, if somebody really actually wants to experience it, and drive us around for the day, they'll be in there with us for the blind drive. Right. Now, for Ashi, I certainly not hope we get I nothing like that. Actually, yeah. I will actually need to drive their vehicle for that day. I mean, for that, while we're doing the drive. So, they have to understand that, you know, I would have to... So you, you, you need to be drive. driving yourself? Yes. Okay. Um, what I was trying to say is, with with Ozzy or anybody, I certainly hope uh, we don't get the same type of reaction we did uh, with, with when you guys were looking for uh, for Kaylee. Um, I, you know, I pray that that Ozzy is safe, and I, I really hope that you know your feelings take you you know anywhere but that area. Um, 
you know. Uh, we've all said the same thing. We hope. So, but I, we hope. but I do want know. you. Go ahead. We don't know until we get there. You know what I mean? And and, and I certainly didn't want to, you know, um, come across feelings like that. And I mean, I mean, when when that feeling drew all of us there, and and you, if those who saw the blind drive knows what happened. It's not a good feeling. It's not a good feeling because it's at that that very moment you realize, you know what I mean? She's not back there alive, and then then that's sad. No, I that's absolutely. Um, we don't want that to happen. We don't want to find something like that. I have a copy of the blind drive video. Um, after this show, I'll go ahead and play it on Ustream for you. Uh, guys, I want you to notice uh, Travis's reaction. I mean, th th I mean, it's just. You, you just look at him. He literally gets sick. He has to get out of the vehicle, um, and and you guys stopped. It. Um, fortunately, or unfortunately, right in front of the area where um, Kaylee's remains were well, found. And, and we're working on on that. And that's one thing that they have to understand. Um, um, Travis is an apprentice, and so he's not. He's he, that was his first time out doing a blind drive, mm -hmm. and he is not familiar with you know controlling the emotions. You're going to get sick to your stomach, and you're going to have these symptoms. And you really got to try. You, it's one thing you fight, you know, I mean, to control that, so you can continue what you're doing. You know, I mean, like obviously, if I got real sick like that, I wouldn't be able to drive the car. You know? Right. You well, you would you would pull so, over. Yeah. Well, you can clearly see, you know, what I was doing. Um. I, you know, I knew I, you know, I knew I was feeling it there, but you got to keep a certain amount of control. And this is, you know, one thing why I like to have apprentices with us. I like to have them understand and, and it teaches them and learns. Now Travis knows better now how to get control of that and he will experience that kind of sickness. You know what I mean? So learn to, to, to keep that under control. And you know, and then work with Reggie, teach Reggie these things. And that's important because obviously if one of them is driving one day and, and it happens, you know, you, you, you crash your car. So you have to learn to control some of those things, and those, that's why it's so important for them to um, work with us and apprentice with us and, you know, teach them these things. These things you can't learn just sitting um, in a room. you really got to go out and, and experience it in order to learn it. I well, well, thank you, Gail. Um, once again, it's psychicgale.com if you want to help out, uh, donate, or, or, or whatever. Um, you know, Gail, Gail needs somebody down there um, that's able to show her around, drive her around, um, and get that stuff done. And then she does plan on moving uh, to work the Haley case. Uh, any other cases, Gail, if you have time? Uh, if we have time, we've been asked um, to uh, go in on the um, Jennifer Kessie case. Mm -hmm. Um, which I, I understand is in the Orlando area, and then, yes. um, I, I don't think the one case we have is okay. enough, so we're not going to be able to do that, but there is one not too far um, in, a, in the Melbourne area, uh, I think that's what it's called, by Coco, not too far from Coco, and so they said if we have time, we can take a step up there to see. Okay. Thank um, you, Gail. Uh, your question. Go ahead. Yes. Um, this is from Blonde in chat, and she thinks it's funny that I always call her Blonde. Um, and thank you again, Blonde, for your assistance with getting Gail down to Florida. Um, she would like to know um, how many days you plan to be in Immokalee. Uh, she also wants to know um, about if smokers bother you, Gail. Uh, she's if smokers bother me, I hate to say this yet, <laughs> it bothers me anyone on the team because it's it, it, just like a dog, it messes up your senses, it messes up the dog's sinuses, it messes up your senses when you're around it. Okay, uh, do you have any, I, I don't know at this point if you would have any time frame of how long you plan to be in Immokalee at this point? Well, we're giving a guesstimation saying we're going to at least be there uh, four days. Depending on funds, I mean, obviously, if, if there's the funds are there, we would, we would determine that we could stay longer and get the round trip tickets. And I mean, but yeah, it looks like uh, four days there and um, two days on the on the Haley case. The Haley case, I, you know, that we're not sure we really feel as much time is needed there because we're a different type of area. We can cover a lot more. Right, and and you do have a location kind of, right. you know, off for Haley's case. Um, right. Now. 
Uh, Diane uh, came to chat. She didn't hear earlier when you talked about when you would be going. Didn't you say somewhere most likely around the 10th or 12th of April? And you also right. stated you would be going on a Wednesday, arriving yeah. on a Wednesday yeah, when the, Wednesday, yeah, the prices are cheaper. Okay. All right, Gail, if you get the Come funds, the I've got a calendar. If you get the funds, could you leave earlier? Um, Let's say on the 6th or 7th? Not, not until the 10th? No. Okay, the 10th is yeah. this Thursday. Okay. So we could that's, well, that's a little over a week from today. Yeah. Considering, you know, well, today is almost the first. Um, well, my stuff's packed. I don't know if anybody else is. My stuff's packed. Well, your stuff's um, always packed. Thing <laughs> on Easter. I, I, I don't think they'll pack anymore. <laughs> I, I, I I've, seen, I've yeah. seen what you put in a minivan. Um, you know, flashlights uh, um, and some pretty unusual items like, you know, body parts. Um, that's a different story, but um, well, yeah, for well, cadaver dog, sense, yeah. <laughs> um, my dog be with me. Okay, so you're not going to bring a dog. No, we can't bring the dog. We can't afford the shipping. Okay, um, right. In, in, unless you're, uh, I think, a SAR team, yet yeah, the airlines won't pay for that. Yeah, one. I mean, yeah. The other other way we said we could do it is if we actually get a rental car, where you know they have the one way rentals. Mm -hmm. Where you actually you know, drive the one way rental and but then we have to find a place for the dog to the dog probably stay in in the Mockley, but the dog wouldn't be stay, able to stay at Cindy's and then we had to find somewhere where he could actually stay. Yeah. Kevin the dog is cadaver dog. Kevin, you ought to know that. Um that's 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 Gail's dog. Um they wanted to ship the dog down there. And it is quite expensive to ship a dog. As far as body parts in there I was referring to uh um, when you train the dogs, they actually have like a. Uh, can you explain? We have human bones. Um, and liquids. You know, for, you know cadaver scent, um, blood. That was usually donated by myself. <laughs> <laughs> um, you get quite, uh, and people you think it's crazy, but you know, you do have to use blood, and a lot of times I, I, I take blood from my victims and enter my home. <laughs> As hard as that sounds, if you enter my home, you may get stuck with something like the blood. Um, because you do have to use it, I mean, constantly train. I'm hoping while I'm there, actually, Fire Cap is supposed to have some um, decomp, as that's what it sounds like, some decomp rags um, for me so that I can pick those up while I'm there. So I'll be taking those back on the plane, tucked away in my suitcase um, for um, training. Okay, so if there if there happens to be uh, let's say some local law enforcement, I do know um, the Immokalee Police Department. I think they do have a cadaver dog. Um, okay. Maybe I mean they seem very willing to uh, um, to accept help from anybody, and I know they've been doing a great job down there. Um, well, and everybody knows we're coming into May. We're it's, we're mating season for the alligators. Yeah, but oh, I'm, no. I'm, I'm, I'm not going. Water, they're highly aggressive. Okay, so stay away from the alligators. Um, unless well, unless I mean, you want to mate with the alligators. There's fresh water everywhere, you know, in, in those areas, especially um, in you know what I mean? So, you know, we're, we're, we're taking a risk and we're going to have to be very, very careful because they're extremely um, aggressive this time of year. Okay. Well, then stay away from the alligators. Well, you yeah. can just tell them, Gail, right? Like you told the boar, the wild boar? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. So what? What I just want to get these, these figures so everybody has has a, a good idea of when Gail is leaving, um, so there's no speculation about in, anything. Um, she needs approximately 600 uh, more dollars. I think um, we're having a few donations. Um, people might be sending now. Um, Gail will be posting. I guess what you need um, as, as far as um, additional monies on, on your website. You might be leaving on the 10th and then maybe returning, like on the 15th or 16th. Probably the 16th. The 16th. The 17th. Okay, so that's like se that's seven days. Because I mean, sometimes if there's a day difference, mm -hmm. uh, you know, it'll only be a $10 difference. It's only a $10 difference to stay yesterday. Okay, and then you're gonna you'll be needing um, uh, assistance with with uh, uh, transportation. We might want to at least have two people um, volunteer right. that just just in case something happens. Right, because we don't want to be and, and anybody that's going to want to volunteer down there with object to to give us a hand because, you know, we're not as familiar with the wildlife. 
Mm -hmm. I'd really appreciate that. Okay, um, everybody wants wants to know. I know I know when you worked with Wyatt and stuff, you had a lot of volunteers. Um, a lot of volunteers weren't really, I guess, I don't want to be rude, but really weren't uh, maybe met the dress code or, or whatever. Um, what 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 do you require? What should they be wearing? What should they uh, bring That's with them? Appropriate means long okay. pants. Long pants. Long pants. I don't want. To, I know it's hot, but I don't want to see shorts. Long pants. Okay. Long pants. Um, water. Tennis boots, hiking boots. Okay. Um, please wear socks. No sandals. Uh, and you know, make sure that you have a hat on because it's fun. And uh, preferably carry some kind of very thin uh, windbreaker jacket, even top, in case you have to go into some of the uh, areas that have some of the, the very thick, um, it's like briar patches you've uh, gotten into, and it's, it's terrible. It just tears you up. So if you know you're going to have to go through something like that, carry it with you. I kept one tied on my waist. Okay. Uh, if you want to bring a first aid kit or something like that, that might be a, a good idea. Um, yeah. And you'll have contact in case anything happens. Um, <laughs> you know, God forbid you know, anything happens, but um, uh, you know they'll, they'll be safe. Um, if somebody finds something, what's the rule? Don't touch. And I went through this with, with the Kayla search. Don't run back to me and say, "I know you said don't touch, but." There's no buts in the searching. You will be sent home immediately. No buts. Okay. You don't touch. You so call someone who knows what they're doing to go over and look at it, but you don't touch it. So the big thing is disturbing evidence. Don't, don't yeah. If you if you don't see something. Don't with a stick. Right. Um, do you have flags we'll or something? Maybe something to mark the area. We we will. We'll, See if we can get some of the marking tape. Okay, the red flags or, or whatever to mark that, and then you'll then you call law enforcement. Okay, so that I think that's a big thing. Don't don't just don't touch uh, anything that you. Yeah, the people go. Well, I just touched it with my foot. I had my shoe on, so I didn't leave hampers. I just kicked it. No, no, no touching. Right, because no that becomes a crime scene. Destruction of forensic evidence. Right. Everything you do. As far as you know, you know, in Immokalee, that they. Um, they are more than willing to have anybody come down there and search, regardless of whatever you're called or, or you're tagged or labeled or whatever. I um, uh, wish well, all law enforcement were like that. We're going out and we're using psychic abilities, so that, that's very true, but we're also going to do straight searching as well. You know, I don't care what you're using. Anything, and, 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 and nothing can hurt. We do a proper search. I mean, and even in um, Terre Haute, India, they realize that we, we know what we're doing. At least the team members do. And when I get out there, I will talk to everyone that's volunteering. And let's lay down the rules. You will all hear the rules for searching how it will be done, what we'll be doing. If you break the rules, be prepared to be sent home. Because it's a safety issue and destruction of forensic evidence. Everything you do out there can be destruction of that crime scene if you come across anything. All right. That's why we have to be careful. Uh, Kevin says in the chat room that if you see baby alligators, you should catch them and rub their bellies to make them fall asleep. Is that recommended, or is that just Kevin? I recommend that Kevin do it. I really do. <laughs> okay. Kevin did. I recommend that Kevin do it. And and, I, and I uh, watch. Kevin lives in Florida, guys. He lives in Leesburg, so he's an expert. So, um, I guess don't listen to Kevin. <laughs> well, Kevin uh, said that he did do it. There's a lot more in a mockery. Alligators. Okay, well, looking at a map of Immokalee, I mean, it, I mean, I guess I'm not seeing it, but it, to me, it didn't look, it didn't look that bad. But you know, I guess that's looking at any, you know, any fresh water you have, it will be there. Okay, well, um, what, what really matters though is you guys are going down there and, and you're looking. Um, and, and I applaud you for that because not too many people are. And like I said, if you guys go to findashi.com, Deborah is the, uh, um, she's she runs the the website findashi.com. It's becoming more and more popular. Um, Deborah, anything new happening on the website? Um, a couple of things. I, I want to say thank you to everyone who is reading and those who are posting. Um, we've also had some people making banners and posters themselves for Aji and posting those on there. And something right now, uh, in fact, there's a new category for it, is to contact Oprah some more. Uh, she is listed in the contact pages to begin with from what we first started on the website. Um, but right now, we really need something to happen. So there's a whole category called Oprah in capital letters. You'll find a link to Oprah's contact page on there. Um, if everyone could please visit there and send her an email asking her to cover Aji, 
we would really appreciate it. We really need at least one person from the national media to to cover Aji, to get it going. I, I hope that more would happen when America's Most Wanted featured him last time, but it really hasn't. And, you know, I've talked with some people. I, I talked with a lady yesterday, and she told me that Aji, she saw him on national television very brief, but now it seems like they can't be bothered with him because things are so juicy for Haley's case. Um, and, and that bothers me. I, just because there's not a whole bunch of Jerry Springer type moments going on in his case doesn't mean he's less important. And I really am grateful for everyone who cares and is visiting his site. And the traffic has really picked up. Yeah. It's really picked up. Um, one thing I wanted to bring up, the Find Aji site, well, we do not accept any donations of, of whatever. Deborah made that clear. Um, and we don't need them. Uh, for the Aji site, it's really exposure for Aji, and that's free. Um, when we mentioned Kinkos. Um, if you go to any Kinkos, you should be able to bring a PDF. You can bring it, run a disk or whatever, um, thumb drive, and bring it to them, and they will print copies of the flyers for you for free. If they don't, please speak to the manager or the head office. Um, since Kinkos is doing this, I'm pretty sure now that uh, Office Max and whatever other um, like businesses uh, will probably uh, do the same. And that's wherever you live. I, I mean, I live in um, West Virginia, and I posted um, pictures. Uh, and speaking of pictures and signs, if you guys get a chance, um, please go to www.signsofallkinds.info. Um, these are the guys that are, are helping out Najee in, in some other cases. Uh, you know, just say, you know, give them a thank you. If you have any business you need done, you know, you know please, please help them out. They're helping um, us out. Um, yeah, Oprah, I, I emailed Oprah. And I'm going to email Oprah's chef. I saw I saw him on Iron Chef. You know that show I'm talking about, Gail? Yes, I love that show. Okay, and we're talking about. Um, I, I figured I might as well email him, and maybe he'll 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 because I'm sure she's not getting half the emails or probably anything from there. Um, but yeah, the more exposure he gets is is, is really really better. Um, if you Google Aji the Seer, you see we're number five now on Google, I and mean, it's been going back and forth, but um, people are starting to take notice, so that that's good. Right, and you know, the big thing is, when I'm down there, the problem is, it's, it's nice, that it, and if you find out we're down there, it's going to draw media attention, the problem you run into is, you can't get anything accomplished. Yeah. You know what I mean, when, when the media is, is there... Well, uh, fortunately for you, Gail, the media's not paying attention to this case, so I don't think you're going to yeah, have a Yeah, so that's good. But in a way. You know, <laughs> in a way. But when, when we get there, I mean, of course, um, if, if we can, there's a few trusted ones. And, and, and no, I don't even want to hear what people said because they're going to teams the media hogs. No, I just assume hide with a paper bag on my head. I don't want to be, you know what I mean? That's not the idea at all. The idea is to be bringing Aji's face back out into the public again. We're not getting that. I mean, they've completely just about forgot that he's missing. So we need to get the media coverage. We need to get his face out there again. People, like you said, might have already seen him and didn't know it was him. Okay. It's not out there enough. We're not seeing Aji's face. I asked some lady today in... Um, she was in um, Georgia, and, you know, I would think that in Georgia, everyone knows about Aji, right? Right next to Florida? No, she didn't. She knew all about Haley. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, yeah, you're right. I mean, that's what we're trying to get out. I mean, yeah, Could you know. that be a problem? Could he be in Georgia? Sure. It's only the next state. Mm -hmm. but the, the point is, he could be anywhere now, and... And his face isn't out there enough that people will recognize it and go, oh, I know who that is. Everybody right now would know who Haley is. So that's the problem. Aji is, was missing, what, a month prior? Yeah. And nobody knows what he looks like. Yeah, he Especially went missing January 10th. If someone in Georgia, if they knew about the Aji case, they go, what's that? No, nobody knows about it. I mean, well, nobody. another thing with Aji, guys, is that... Um, he is very easy for someone to take out in public on a regular basis, where most six-year-olds are not, because Aji can't speak. Um, he right. speaks less than five words. He functions at a year and a half to two years of age maximum. And so he can't say a word and say, I want to go home. They took me or, or whatever. He can't, 
he can't speak up about it. So he's one that's easy to take out in public. And if people don't know he's missing, they can't help him get home. So I don't care where you live. I'm in Michigan, and I am making sure that people see what he looks like. I've got one of those nice the posters here. in our our first, van, and I put them out. Well, our local news is, is our local news, um, you know, is talking about the Haley case. I'm like, I'm in Ohio. What are we doing talking about it? You know, when it makes local news, and, 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 and where's Aji on there? I, I didn't see him on there. It's no, you won't. Yeah. yeah, you won't. This kid, for the, all his time has passed, could be anywhere. But his face isn't plastered anywhere. So well, good places to put him. Good very, places. Very posters upset. are where, Gail, and Brian? Post office, Walmart, 7-Eleven. Um, Walmart in my area is pulling them down. We're having problems with them. Um, now, Walmart has an agreement with the uh, National Center for Missing and Exploiting Children. They actually yeah, have a... Uh, they pull them down. Okay. And I've gone to speak to the manager at our Walmart. Right. Just, just, just bring, print a poster, bring it to them. I mean, they'll, they'll put it up there. I mean, I'll see why. Well, and the thing is, if you're having the problem that we're having, okay, go straight to the manager and, and talk to them about getting, it, getting them up. Because they said what was happening is that people were putting all kinds of other garbage up with it. You know, as soon as they saw a missing person's poster, they figured they could put ads up and everything else. Well, usually in, in Walmart actually has a, um, like a... Uh, we don't have one. It's, a, it's, in, it's in glass. Yeah, no, we don't have one. Okay. But they've been allowed to be put on this one back wall while people were starting to bring tape and tape and get ads and everything else. If you're bringing in that uh, a missing po person poster in your Walmart is like that, go to the manager. Tell them, show them what you have, and then they'll help you put it up. Don't just take it upon yourself and put it up because they will pull it down. So that is what our manager said at our store. Go to, directly to a manager, and they'll take you over, and they'll put it up with their tape. So that, that you know, you're going to run into some of these other Walmarts like that. Now, our grocery stores around here will allow you to put them up. Okay. Most of our grocery stores. Um, some other areas. Oh, go ahead. No, go ahead, Gail. Yeah, missing persons. Now, if you go in and talk to the gas stations um, around, a lot of them will let you post it, like where you can see it by a cash register. They'll let you post it. Sometimes they may ask you, though, we have 7 um, Eleven stores around here. And they, what they've allowed us to do is actually um, put the poster with, you know, either, you know, sticky tape on or whatever on a piece of cardboard and make, you know, a frame. They don't want the actual metal frame because it's a liability. That's what we were told. But if you actually make it so it can stand up, you know, cardboard, they'll sit it right there on the counter. Okay. So you have to go into individual stores, but your gas stations are a really good place because how many people pull up to get gas and have a cake with them? Right. You have to get gas in your car. Hey. So if, if he's out and his kids are, you know, missing, at some point in time they have to put gas in the car. And then people look to see a poster, see a child, they go, oh, hmm, wait a minute. I'm looking at well, with, with gas stations also, I used to um, manage um, convenience store gas stations for Speedway, uh, Super America, and um, they have a lot of strict rules, you know, because they're corporately owned, although... You know, manager, the manager at each location can, can bend those rules, you know, to whatever. But something that I'm thinking of here is we, have, we live in a day and age now with credit cards, gift cards, so many people paying at the pump. Now, they call it pay at the pump. Honestly, those are called dispensers. The pumps are underground. But I think that is a prime place to be putting the posters. It, you know, and you could go ahead and get those um, clear, um, even though there's canopies in most places, you can get those clear sheet protectors. They're actually very cheap in the office supply store in like boxes of 100. And you could put the poster inside of there and tape it up. Obviously, ask permission first wherever you go, but I think putting them right there, because so many people don't go inside, is a great place to be displaying those. I have put some up at gas stations. And I went to the managers and, and haven't yet... I have had better luck actually at the gas stations and the stores. Um, as long as I spoke to the manager, they're, they're 
they each time they've been more than willing to put up posters of missing children. So that's a plus. You know what I mean? The gas most of the gas stations will work with you if you go to the manager and speak to them. Just don't take it upon yourself to do it like that but you can't you can't do that. You're gonna get in trouble. And then they'll take it down. Right. Um and the manager's permit permission, they'll tell you exactly where you can put it and I like I said I've run anyone so far that said anything against it. Right. We can also you can also print when the PDF there's some smaller images where you can actually uh, print like little bumper sticker things. I mean those will work great in the back of vehicles. Um, you mm -hmm. know, you know. I did go to some of the stores. Now, now places like McDonald's and that would not allow it. I, mean, I don't know why. Okay. Well, maybe that's just yours. Uh, I, I've never been turned down as far as putting up a missing poster. Hey, ours are on here since policy. Now I did go to some of the other um, restaurants mm -hmm. and no problem. As long as it was a more of a like a five by seven, and they put it up by where the registers are again. You right. Know what I mean? So it just depends. But you know they may say, well, we'll do it if it's the size, we'll do it if it's that one, and just go, you know, you go have a smaller size put it out. Um, but most of your restaurants, and especially your like your mom and pop restaurants, mm -hmm. I never had any problems with them. Not at all. I think the big the, the big thing is, is you, you got to make a pack with yourself to say hey you know get out there and, and post at least one you know picture you know I realize you know I'm from West Virginia I mean you know a thousand a thousand miles away um, it doesn't matter where you are you know put up one because like you know everybody's saying Aji could be somewhere um, and right. somebody's probably already seen Aji if he's alive um, and well, they I just put didn't, him up yeah. here in Ohio and right. I'm thirty minutes from the, the nearest place you know what I mean uh -huh. but you know every time I'm out. You know, I'll stop at two, three places and put them out. Um, I, I'm trying to go like where the highways are. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Close to where the highways come out. We we have listeners from the Bahamas, guys. You know, it, it, it's it's likely, it, it's possibly. You know, the Bahamas aren't too far away. You know, if you live in the Bahamas, you know, place um, you know, post some pictures. Um, yes. There's lots of ways of getting getting um, stuff out there. Border cro crossings are especially a good place to you know make sure that they have pictures. I think they already have a system in place, um, but it's always a good idea just to ask. You know, it never hurts to ask. Um, if the, anyone uh, knows or is related to truck drivers. Yeah. I know that there Very is a program that truck drivers do do it, but mm -hmm. please try to get that going if you have any friends or relatives that are truck drivers. Yeah, they ask to, hey, can I put this sign in the back of your truck? Um, well, and, they can post them at the at the yeah. truck stops, at the yeah. travel centers, as they, you know, are transporting their loads. You yeah, know, they, a, they cover a lot of miles, and at the rest stops, too, mm -hmm. on the interstate. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it, you know, it's looking like you know the the farther this case goes on, the, the longer it goes on. You know, it, it does seem like he was abducted. Uh, you know, thank God, because um, we don't really want him, you know, to be found in the local area. I mean, there's you know, unless somebody's taking care of him. So this is a good thing. Um, and that said, I mean, he could be anywhere. So, um, this applies to any missing person case. Um, you know, just if everybody just does a little bit, it can, it can help. Because so many people are found, you know, every day um, by people seeing a news article, you know, watching TV, um, turning on Nancy Grace. Well, it used to be turning on Nancy Grace. Um, you know, America's Most Wanted, stuff like that. They're, they're found people. I mean, you know, America's Most Wanted keeps a running tab. I mean, and America's Most Wanted didn't find anybody. You guys did. So, you know, that's... It's, I know it's common sense. Um, this, it, you know, it's, it is common sense, but... It just, you have to do it. I mean, just, it only takes a few minutes, and it's, you know, it's uh, awkward to ask somebody, hey, put this up, or, but just go and try it. I mean, there's, you know, anywhere, 7-Eleven or whatever, you know. That's I mean, all, the that's worst all they can do is say no, yeah. you know. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, okay, uh, Gail, um, Deborah, any, anything else? Uh, we're, well, first of all, Gail, um, thank you for being on. Is there anything else uh, we need to put out as far as uh, you going down to Florida? Um, Pretty yep. much that, that's it. I mean, and uh, we think if, if now Reggie, if we're able to get enough money for Reggie's ticket, we will have a laptop to use. Otherwise, we will not have a computer to use. So we'll be doing updates via the phone with you, Brian. And then, Brian, I guess you're going to have to broadcast in both rooms on my side sure. and yours. Oh. Because um, I'm, you know, obviously I'm not going to be able to do that. Okay, well, that's something else that somebody could, could, could bring then. You know, somebody has a laptop they wanted to bring. Right. Okay, so that's something else. What about GPS? Did we, we talk about that? Do you need a GPS or whatever? Or? You know, I'm not, I don't really think in the, if we're going to need a GPS as much, um, as long as we have someone that kind of knows the area. Okay. I mean, because we're obviously not going to be, you know, 
2,500 miles away. Okay, um, now the well, last time you... East. I'm sorry, I yeah. believe that we have... Yeah, radio, I think yeah. somebody might have mentioned, and I think that person is in chat, that they may be able to lend some of those, if I remember correctly. Yeah, guys, I think you need walkie-talkies. I mean, to me, that would be a necessity. Yeah, just, you know, and if, if, if we can get some, that'd be great. Um, things like that, any of those things help us out. Okay. When you were down in Florida, um, you know, you, I know you've done three searches in Florida. What, what do you think you could have done better? I mean, I mean you're, you're used to this. I mean, is there anything else that, uh, you know, we could learn from or, or do, do, do different this time? Or, or, or I mean, what... What, what, what well, do you in all honesty, the, one, of the, one of the things that was hampered more was um, volunteer issues because we just we couldn't get people to follow rules. And that, that's one thing I learned. It's very strict, and there's no you, you don't get second chances. And that's that's one thing that held us up was, was doing that, and I won't let that hold us up again. Um, the, the next thing is is um, w when you're out, we did have a problem with um, talking. We're not meaning to be rude, but we would like you to be quiet while we work. It's difficult to work when you have you know what I mean, all this talk going on, you know what I mean, and you're trying to concentrate. That's one of the things we ran into on searches. You know, people want to keep running up and talking to us. You, you can't work like that. Um, Gail, when you search, I know that you want to work on, um, you know, make sure that Aja gets attention as far as getting his um, photo and his information out there and people paying attention to the fact that he's missing. And you going down there will bring attention to that. But I remember during Kaylee's case, um, there was several times that you did not disclose where you were planning to search because you wanted to be able to get more searching done. And right. um, there were a lot right. of interactions. If you give the location away, the media shows up there. Or you get local people show up there and trample everything who didn't have any idea what they should or should not be doing. Uh, if I feel there's a reason to not disclose the location when we give the updates, I will say I am not disclosing any location at this point. And the reason for it is not because I'm trying to be nasty, not updating anybody. It's a problem if we have all these things, either media shows up there or people show up to eat any and we can't get anything accomplished, holds everything up. And then the next thing is, is the, if media catches you in certain areas, you know what I mean, all of a sudden they, they do flock. And even well, even well I, I, I hate to say it, Gail, but, you know, I mean, I, actually, I really want the media to pay some attention because that's going to get Aji out there, but um, really, I doubt it. People and, have to do them in, you know, in the evening. Um, and then the thing is, because the more time we take out to do that, and well, I will, you know, if, if we have to deal with any media issues here, I will speak to them to set up either at lunch hour, you know what I mean, or, or evening. Because okay. Because if we give up those daylight hours, but, you know what I mean, we're losing valuable time. Now, Gail is so dedicated also that she did appear on Nancy Grace when she was in Florida searching for Kaylee. But if I remember correctly, it was three times that you turned down going on Nancy's show yeah, because you right. wanted to search and it took away your day life. Right. And we would lose two, two, to two and a half hours each. Uh, time if I, if I went to go do the Nancy Grace show, I, I lost two and a half hours of daylight. That's very valuable time. There's, you know, I mean, when you got to weigh it out, you got to say, you can either meet me at lunchtime. This is, this is the opportunity you have to set rules, you know, I mean, guidelines to be followed. Lunchtime, evening. In between, here's your option. You can chase me around if you like, but I'm not stopping. Well, I wanted to bring that up, Gail, because not I really appreciate the daylight hours. Yeah. And for those that are not, that, that could be listening, that are not familiar with your um, search protocol and the way you do things because they, they weren't around um, during the, Kay, the Kaylee Anthony case when you did those searches, I wanted them to understand um, how dedicated you are and how much I appreciate it, and I know many others do too. So I, I wanted people to understand more about your work. 
throughout the field searching. Yeah, I do get pretty strict. I do get pretty rigid. I do, you know, and Brian will verify you sent out with me before. Well, when we get it, I get, you know, and I'm in safe mode. I don't like to break that. Well, now, one of the first things you do, Gail, or maybe the first thing you do, um, would be the blind drive. Now, Brian brought that up earlier, um, and a lot of people um, know and are familiar with the blind drive for the Kaylee Anthony case, and Brian will be showing that video. Um, for those that are not familiar and they're listening and they could be new to following your work and, you know, this whole situation, could you kind of let them know what you do, where you start and that type of thing? Okay. What we're going to do on a blind drive, and you, it, no, no, we're not blindfolded, but we call it a blind drive because we don't have any maps with us and we, we have no knowledge when we start out. We go, the only thing we will go to is where the person was last seen. So we do know where Ozzy was last seen. We will be getting the, the blind drive at that point. And we will go on his actual, what we call vibration or residue that's left, and follow him to see, uh, did he walk off? Was, if, if he was driven in a car, sometimes you'll lose it. You know what I mean? It'll just drop right off. It's just, if you ever heard someone say uh, uh, a tracking dog was out and lost his scent at the end of a driveway, it's because somebody got into a car. Well, sometimes you'll lose it like that. You'll, you'll be going and you just lose it because they got into a vehicle. And you know, you, maybe you drive somewhere else trying to pick it up and see where they went. Um, we're in there to feel what we're feeling. Uh, whether in generally, if you're getting close to the body, you know, you'll see you know, like the Kaylee blind drive. You will see um, us get sick. We know where we're at. We know what we're feeling. And if we come that close, we will definitely know something there. The rest of the time, you just feel like a draw, like something's pulling you. If you get right up on it, you will definitely there's no mistaking it. So those are things, like I said, we're not blindfolded. We're going strictly by what direction we're pulled to go to get there. And we will be, we will be doing a video of it. As usual. Okay, so you're going to be doing a video of the blind drive. Yes. Okay. Yeah. What I'll do is I'm, I'll play I'll play that video for you guys to see right after this uh, broadcast. I'll even um I'll maybe uh, record a few seg segments of it. Um, see if you guys want to see it. Um, you can also download it. I think from Gail's website. It's a it's a, like 80 megs or something like that. It's pre it's pretty it's a pretty large file. Um, but we'll we'll do that. A language warning. Yeah, language warning gals in it. <laughs> There's a okay. language warning. Well, yeah. you know, you're, like I said, you know, it's right. an adrenaline rush. You could see what was right. happening in there. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. A lot was going on. You're, you're, you have huge, that's something people don't understand. During a blind drive, you have huge surges of adrenaline. Mm -hmm. And it's actually, you can just feel. You know, Brad, I'm sure you've experienced at some point in time, too, you know, adrenaline surge. Uh -huh. uh, when you're doing something, and the adrenaline surge, it's just so, you know what I mean, you're, you're, it's, it's like having uh, three pots of coffee, you're feeling all that, you're just, you know, you're really pumped up, so emotions are really going, so yeah, sometimes language slips out, we apologize for that, we do not always make our blind drives public, um, but we'll try not to, <laughs> we'll try not to let any language slip. Sure. Well, there was a discussion prior to releasing that blind drive because you don't normally put them out for public use. Yeah. And there was discussion about, um, since there were some curse words in there, um, to edit them out. But if that were to be done, it would not be as real, you know, and, and it wouldn't be authentic. And then people would wonder, you know, what was edited and that type of thing. So you right. got it straight up. You got the video it straight up. It is what it is, and I you know, apologize for the language, but it is what it is. Adrenaline rush, we're doing the whole thing. And then we don't usually make them public. Um, but I know people have been asking. I've got my email myself, and I'll really please begin to make them public. I will, but I can never guarantee uh, there won't be language in them. We'll do our best. Well, okay. stuff happens. Personally, I would not want you to be concerned about watching your tongue 
when you're doing a blind drive. I well, don't want um, to take away from what you're trying to do and be, you know, if trying to be on your guard to not say a curse word because it, it, it won't be as productive, it won't be as good. If you, you know, have to go down there and, and you, you, you go over the Haley search and talk to Haley's, you know, whatever you want to call it, I mean, you'll fit right in. Yeah, there you go. There you go. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we plan on doing, we will video both um, blind drives. The thing is, since they're so long, the camera, we have to have um, a way to um, upload to a um, computer and get it sent to Brian right away. So we're probably going to be a Skype Brian. Sure. Because I won't have enough on the TV on Reg's computer and I can't keep on the camera and then be able to do another. We can only do one blind drive, you know what I mean? Per location, you know what I mean, and one for Haley and one for Aji, because each time you have to look at the physical camera. As far as what Brian does when Gail's out in the field, then I was not um, helping Brian at the time, and I do help Gail too. Whenever she needs help, she knows that I'm more than willing. Um, I was not helping Brian when Gail was down in Florida for the Kaylee search, but Brian um, is sitting there. He goes ahead and um, you know, is in constant contact with Gail. Well, as much as he can be, because Gail's very busy in the field, um, Brian is there for when Gail needs help. Um, Brian was actually hung up on when Gail was in Florida. Yeah, she, Gail. She hung up on Brian because, you know, she was busy searching, and he called. Um, but anyway, um... I, I think we did it on the white drive. Right after or during the blind drive, something, I remember the phone rang, and I don't even know if I hung up, or I just said, Brian, I just can't talk to you right now. <laughs> well, you know, the thing is that Brian wants to um, help as much as possible. He wants the readers to know uh, what's going on also. He uh, wants to bring updates to you guys. And another thing is um, he's constantly um, working on mapping and sharing that information with um, Gail and other people that are out there in the field. And as they're in the field searching and doing things, um, you know, information on cases continues to come in. So anything pertinent to that case, um, and, you know, if anyone has, you know, places that they believe need to be searched, all those things get taken into consideration. So right. there's a lot of stuff that goes on, and um, I'll do what I can yeah, to help. Ask, you, you brought that up, Dan. Uh, yeah, because I'm going to say something. Um, we were out. A lot of people kept saying, why are you looking in other areas? And I kept, and I had told Brian, I remember telling Brian this, I, Brian, I just feel like, you know, we've already found her. But other locations had come in by, you know, local people, and they had asked us to search them. We are a team of searchers. We search. If someone says, I'm making a suggestion because of this, and it sounds logical, we will go out and search it, whether the blind drive runs there or not. So that's important. Well, you are first and foremost a search team. Yes, um, your psychic abilities, your special gifts come into it, but I do know that you thoroughly search areas too. Yeah. So, you know, I, I think that tonight, you know, in recording this, there'll be a lot of people, you know, watching, listening, um, at a later time um, is explaining a lot more about what you actually do and what happens when there's searches going on, you know, out in the field and how yeah, people try to okay. work together. And um, Fred, how do you go out there and sit down in the middle and meditate on it? Um, I don't believe I've ever done anything like that. I certainly don't take a crystal ball and sit down in the middle of the street. Um, I think it's just some, you know, Things that people get in their head, you know what I mean? These crazy thoughts. That's not at all what's going on. Nobody's running around with, you know, um, strange items or wearing strange items. Uh, you know what I mean? And we look like normal people because we are. We just have some abilities that are different um, than other, you know, people have. Well, um, um, walking around doing weird stuff. No. Okay, Gail, Gail. You know, we have a lot of new listeners, and you know, a lot of people don't even know that. Um, this is a show uh, with psychics. Um, what exactly, I mean, I know you're, you're a search team, and I know what you do. Um, 
what what exactly do, do you feel? I mean, I know you, you use the psychic ability, but not only that, you follow that up on um, real, like, uh, you know, forensics and, and, you know, gut reactions and stuff that, you know, law enforcement use, profiling well, and stuff like that. There's a lot of things. I mean, I mean, obviously, if I'm out there and I see, I see something physically that looks to me like if I'm in a fresh scene where it's possible somebody could have walked off and I see something that looks like it could be, you know, a footprint or that, I'm starting to pay attention. I'm also at the same time using my, my own abilities to see um, what I'm feeling as I'm looking at it. Is it connected to the case? Is there something connected? Am I feeling the connection to the person I'm looking for? Um, and, and what I teach is my, to my um, apprentices is you're, this is, you have refined, like all refined psychic abilities. That's when you're doing like uh, private readings for somebody and things like that. This is more of a raw, adrenaline kind of thing when you're out. This is about what your body feels. This is not about what your mind is thinking or, or, or seeing. It's about what your body feels. The closer you get to um, a human, the, your, your reactions, your body changes. Just the same as if you ever sat in a room, and I tell people do this experiment, sit in a room, put a blindfold on, have ten people walk in the room, I want you to name each person as they walk into the room. Normally, if the vibration that you felt before, you should be able to name which family member walked in that room. That's just interesting. You, you actually... Natural instinct. You had me do that before, I think. It's actually pretty pretty interesting because uh, you make a point where, you know, you can feel somebody in a room, and, and everybody has this thing, you know, like, you can feel that somebody's next to you, but yet there's no temperature change, you don't actually feel it, there's no wind, there's nothing like that. You it can act, you actually know. Um, you ever get, to, you ever get to feel it? Well, up. here's an example I think of what Gail does. That's, that's a good one. People say, yeah, oh, as I was going to say, yeah, somebody's watching me. Up. Somebody's watching me, right? And, you know, you could be psychotic uh, or, you know, but... Some people, you know, you get to feel like somebody. Yeah. I know a lot of people that said they were yeah. in bed and their spouse was, you know, standing there and watching them and woke them up. Mm -hmm. it, because this is our ability. This is our raw ability. Ability. I call it raw. Mm -hmm. You're not. It's not the refined kind where you're doing your reading. This is what your body feels. This we're. This is natural within all of us. Right. We all have it. And if we reverted more back to that animal self, I don't mean, you know, go out and act like animals, but that those emotions and those things that our bodies feel is what we need to pay attention to. If we paid attention to it, and we if we learned this when we were young, we might have less missing people. Yeah, I feel like somebody's watching me those right now, which is weird. Those kick in and tell yeah. you when you become prey, mm -hmm. like an animal knows just before another animal's going to go after them. Instincts should tell you things. You should listen to those instincts. Mm -hmm. you, you know, you know I, I, I firmly agree. We, we work with. That's what we do. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so the time you were down in Florida, um, you guys searched, um, you know, you, I know you were on Nancy Grace a lot of times. Um, you, that did take up a lot of your time. Um, so you really don't want to let that happen this time. Uh, do you? So you so said the as far as that we did it before was rain, what we call rain days. If okay. it rained, I agreed to go on. Okay, but you, you're okay with going on like a, af, after the sun goes down? After the sun goes down, I'm fine. Will okay, I lose well, daylight time? No. Fortunately, though, um, the sun's not going to be going down until like 7:30 or 8 o'clock now, right? Is, it, is that is that about it? If we've Sounds got so if we've got the full 12 hours in, that's a lot of searching. I'll, I'll call it good. Okay. Um, I don't know if everybody knows this, but Gail, Gail and her team, um, they they search basically from sun up to sundown every single day. And you know, I was with Gail one time, and they get up at an ungodly hour, and they go out and they search. And it's um, you know, you guys did an outstanding job down there. Um, Thank you. Well, uh, it's not just getting up at an ungodly hour, Brian. If I remember correctly from listening and reading back during the Kaylee case, um, they they're up during the night because they're working. A lot of times you're doing a broadcast late at night you wouldn't go to bed and the morning you're working on fans, snapping, and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. We'd get up at 4 o'clock, get dogs ready, get our ready, um, 
Well, and sometimes you didn't go to bed till two or three, I don't think. Yeah, yeah. Being a listener at that time. Or sleep to back up, and you've got to put in a 12 hour day, at least a 12 hour day. Right. And you, you work with a lot of people down there. Is there anybody that you want to thank or, 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 or whatever for helping you down there? A lot of people helped you down there. I mean, there's a lot of people. Uh, anybody that a, st stands out? Know, it's, it's so numerous to mention, but there was a lot of people. There was a lot of people who did cooperate that were really good. And one of the people that we're going to be working with in the Haley uh, case is uh, Cindy. Okay. And um, she, since being a volunteer, she has taken over being case administrator, which has really taken a big burden off of all of us. You know what I mean? And so I don't have to worry about those uh, emails coming anymore. And the case is, she sets everything up and takes care of that. And all I have to do is keep my mind on what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and we do have some other volunteers there that are doing things. Um, we have one, uh, her name is uh, Susan, and she started with us with the, the Kaylee. Um, so she didn't actually go out and volunteer, but um, she did a lot of other things for us. and. She now does all the handy of the, the links and keeping us updated on all, all the cases, everything that she can find on there, and making sure that she emails those out to us so that we can, uh, you know, either put those on the site or check them out. Okay. But we've met we've met a lot of people, and I will say there's some there's some new um, people down there that I highly respect. The one did a piece on on uh, us down there, and they were very very um, decent, and I respect that. Um, I do not respect uh, what I call junk journalism, and if I won't, we won't, we will not have that going on in the object case. That is one thing that will be changed. Well, it's very disrespectful to Aji and his family. Any missing person there. there. And 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 whether you mock me or not is not what this is about. This is about getting his face out there, talking about him being missing. You know what I mean, and, and, and searching for him. It's not about your opinion, what you like about our team or don't like about, you know, our team. Um, I think this is what they're going to be out there. They need to be fair and decent. This is a, for the family, and this is for Aji. And the junk journalism, I'm not going to have that going on. That will not be going on at all. Those stations will not get any, um, you know, time with us. You're not going to tolerate it. You either put it out properly. You know what I mean, and, and talk about Aji being missing. Um, this isn't some kind of joke. This child is missing. Well, and honestly, Gail, when you're featured on Nancy, I would think that local media stations should have some respect for what you're doing. Well, we did. Uh, we'll see in Orlando. No matter what, we always had, and I, I will not name the station, but they know who they are. That. Um, thinks that everything is about a circus and what you can turn it into. This is not a circus and this is not a joke. We have a missing person. And I, won't I, I completely You don't want to have my meltdown on here, okay? You don't yeah. want to have my media meltdown. <laughs> I, I completely agree. Um, it, it's, it's, it's tough work and we got to, you know, stay, um, you know, stay focused and um, you, you just got to you just gotta laugh sometimes, you know, because you want to cry. Um, but it's very serious. Um, we do take this seriously, um, and we want you to go down there and, and help find Aji and, and um, Haley um, and um, yeah, Jesse uh, and, and whoever else, whoever else might need your help. So we we thank you a lot, Gail. Um, we're almost at thank the hour mark. Um, so once again, guys, please go to uh, find uh, findaji.com um, if you want to help uh, uh, distribute uh, pictures, posters, stuff like that. Please, you know, pre please print that out. Um, we don't accept donations whatsoever for any, anything, um, but if, if you want to help uh, contribute to the cause of getting Gail and her team down there, uh, please go to psychicgail.com and click on the donate button. Um, she said she needed $600, so I think once you reach that, you'll put, we'll put a notice, Gail, that we, you have enough funds. We'll post a notice when you have enough, and we'll make all okay. the arrangements and, and, she, and um, get out of here. Transportation, if you live near the Imokley area, um, uh, if you're willing to help... Uh, Drive Gail around. Um, she's kind of hard to get along with, um, but you'll get used to her. <laughs> um, <laughs> <Thanks, Brian. laughs> um, you, you can you can you can um, you can socialize with Gail if you have a place for her to stay, and she would appreciate that. Would that would save the team a lot of money, um, feed them whatever. Um, and uh, if uh, if you have walkie-talkies, um, I am making those guys. Besides just 
drawing stuff. Well, we need walkie-talkies. Uh, I, th I think Gail needs some type of GPS. I would prefer the, the hunting type of GPS uh, when you use hunting and fishing because they're actually, right. you could walk with them, uh, not the ones you put in your car. Um, right. A laptop. Somebody wants to uh, use a laptop. If you have wireless and wireless access card, um, we would really love that. Um, and, and I'm not sure about the Moakley area if it's covered or not. Uh, I hope it is. Um, uh, if you have something like that, that's something that Gail would really need. You might want to ask Mert on that. Um, well, ne never mind. That's twenty thousand a month. We, we can't afford that card. Um, <laughs> but it, it, if you have a wireless access card, I mean, it doesn't cost twenty thousand dollars a month, and you would like to loan it to uh, to the team, you will get it back. Gail promises. Um, Absolutely. We, we will do that. Um, if you're coming out to search, uh, please dress appropriately. Gail said no. Uh, um, no shorts. Uh, unfortunately, I guess I violated the, I violated that rule when I was out there searching with Gail. Of course, yes, she never. I didn't she, yell she, you. No, you didn't. You never told me that face to face. Um, and it brings some bug spray or something like that. Um, bug spray, sunscreen. Bug spray. There's bug spray. There's bug spray. Don't take bug spray. Um, Sorry, you have to lump it. If, if you smoke, if you smoke, if you smoke, um, just please, you know, do it away from the team. Um, we're not discriminating against anybody that smokes. Um, when you're searching, there's no smoking. Yeah, that's common sense. Com common Sorry, sense. There's no right. Um, when you when you search, you usually look down too, uh, and you look at the ground. I'm not up. I, I know. I hate to say that. But it, right. Um, uh, I do. I do hope that it's uh, organized um, better than what we've seen in the past. Um, well, I want to have a long talk with any volunteers that are out there. Please don't think that I'm being okay. harsh or cruel. Um, I'm doing this for your safety, my safety and everyone else's safety and to be able to search properly and look for what we're supposed to be looking for. This is why we have instructions. Okay. Um, and you will be uh, hopefully leaving on the 10th and then returning on the 16th or 17th. Uh, you'll be flying uh, you, uh, Tamara, and Reggie. Um, yes. Everybody knows uh, Reginald Lewis. If you don't, uh, what's his website, Gail? ReginaldLewisReadings.com. Uh, ReginaldLewisReadings.com. I believe you go to well, Gail's website. Uh, he's, he's, a, he's a team member. He, you can click on the, uh, the team uh, uh, thing right uh, link right there. Um, are there any questions in the in the chat room or anything before we wrap this up? Um, we are going to have to cover the other case later. Any other? Uh, um, uh, it, There's it, something that I would like to say here um, sure. because it, it was mentioned a lot during Kaylee's case. I don't think this was mentioned by you, Brian, or by you, Gail. Um, anyone that goes out to search, um, from what Gail has said herself and from people that have been out there searching with her, um, it, it may be something like being in the military. Gail is, she runs a tight ship, um, and you're going to get a workout. You're going to be sore. Um, it, there's, but Gail, she, she tells you what you need to do. Um, don't be concerned if you don't know what to do if you've never done it before. But I guess the point I'm making is, is Gail can be kind of like a slave driver out there, right, Gail? Uh, I, yeah, I, I will yell at you, and I yell at police officers too, who are, who are not familiar with searching. So I, I don't play, I don't play uh, favorites. All right, so Sorry. if if, uh, um, if your local authority, um, uh, local authorities, um, Gail, Gail will be down there. Um, if 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 you um, you know. Want want her to search or do something? You know, you know please don't hesitate to ask. I, I you know I realize it, it's it's kind of different uh, when it comes to somebody saying they're psychic, but there's more than just psychics out there. Um, everybody's doing their best to help find uh, you know missing people, and that's really what matters. Um, uh, Aji's been missing for over two months now. Um, and his anniversary, second month anniversary just came up. It's, um, you know, whatever it takes, um, do it. Um, it's free. Um, you know, please don't just because of ego or or, or whatever. Um, don't don't discredit somebody until you've actually you know you shouldn't discredit anybody anyways. But until you've you know if somebody wants to help, let them help. Um, that's that's all. Gail will be arriving on the three month anniversary, Brian. LP is LP is, L, LP is Leonard Padilla or long playing record. <laughs> I'm looking in the chat room. Um, as far as asking Leonard Padilla for help, I did um, call Leonard Padilla myself, I left him voicemails. Um, he did not ever return any of my calls. I know. Leonard Padilla has contacted Gail. Leonard Padilla has contacted Gail several times. But, um, right. I, as far as Leonard Padilla goes, I like Leonard, I like everybody. I, I think I like Leonard Padilla. I think that um, we all know his intentions. I but he, him personally. <laughs> he seems like a likable person. Yeah, he, yeah. He, uh, he, he, it's, at least it's bringing attention to cases. Um, as far as well, Kaylee Anthony, he no. Was, wasn't yeah. he down there for a while, too, in a mockery? 
No. Uh, no, he was. I was talked about going down there. Right. Yeah. He, he never did, as far as I know. He spent the time, you know, in Satsuma for the Haley Cummings case. Um, well, I yeah, guess, I guess when, we, when we come in there the first night, maybe we'll have to, you know, strike up his attention. Yeah, well, 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 I, well, well whatever. <laughs> I'm concerned about, uh, really, Gil, all I want from you is I want that blind drive, and I want, I want you to be feeling like he was taking out of the area. I, that's what I want. Um, from you, well, it, you know. I, you know, Brian, I wish I could say that, but you know, I could have said that on the Kaylee case too. But I, well, we all knew in the Kaylee case. This, as far as my stuff, I, I'm, I'm, I'm really uh, up in the air on this one. Um, it, I, you know, I've had uh, back and forth um, uh, feelings and emotions, so I'm kind of anxious to get there and see uh, what it's, I As far as the the, the Haley case, I think we both now agree on 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 something. Um, that's it, posted. The, the, the Haley case was kind of like the Kaylee case. Wham, bam. Uh, okay, I pretty well know where I want to be. Right. Um, and guys, if you want to follow any of these cases, um, you, you know, please cl uh, click on the, um, you know, the links up there. Um, you go to Missing Persons Forum, look at that case, and, the, and we'll link to the, the, the my cases, uh, Gail's cases, um, whatever we put together and, and whatever. And I do want to say one real quick thing. Mm -hmm. um, you got to realize that even if an area has been searched, something can still be there. Kaylee's area was searched, searched three different times, and nobody you know, um, uh, located her. So, you know, you got to realize how difficult it really is to find the body. Very, very difficult to physically walk and find them. Because, you know, if it's a child even, and it's out there, it's going to be small. Um, it, it's, it's difficult, uh, no matter how many times you say a search an area, you can be surprised at the things you can miss especially when you have volunteers. I guess that's probably why I'm so uh, adamant about the rules and what we should be doing when we're out there. Um, Gail, um, I, did witness, I did witness people talking on, other, on another team, not our team. Okay. Um, real, real quick, uh, Sass asked, have you uh, talked to Leonard Padilla about possibly maybe uh, you know, funding your search or, or, or you know, The or last time like I spoke with Leonard Padilla, was um, um, during or shortly after the uh, the blind drive was released into public. That's I have spoke to wanting to be on the phone. Okay. I have not spoke to him since. Okay. Um, are you okay? Um, are you going to be talking with Nancy, um, Greta, or any, any any of those? If if they find me, because I don't think any of them have my new phone number, so if they okay. can catch me if you can. Okay, thank you, Gail. Um, it was great having you on. I know this uh, this one thing turned into another thing, but it doesn't matter because it's um, yeah, missing people, which is good. Um, you know, th that said, um, I realize that there's been a lot of issues with everybody out there, um, and uh, things being said back and forth. Um, it's really, I guess, you can consider it petty. You know, I don't, I don't know the answers to, to everything, um, but I do know that the people I work with really do care about missing people, um, and that's really what's important. Um, so if if you're true to your calling, um, continue what, with what you're doing. Um, you know the right way. You know what's right and uh, what, what's wrong. Um, you know focus focus on on missing people. If that's your true intentions. If it's not, then you know I guess then carry on. E either way. Good night, guys. Um, thank you for being on, Gail and Deborah. Thank you. Thank you. And that said, uh, if you find the little baby alligators, make sure you turn them over and rub their bellies. Um, I'll just do that. Okay. <laughs> Good night, guys. Uh, we will be doing the other cases. Um, and this next case uh, definitely what relates to Madeline McCann. Again, you know, I might get a little emotional and get a little upset, but it really does uh, frustrate me uh, when you know all this stuff is going on, and and no one can really do anything without the Portuguese police all over it. Um, the, when I said the Portuguese police, I mean the Portuguese mafia. Um, I mean, I, I'm a kid you not. Um, there, I'm going I'm to be posting some images and some pictures that will prove without a doubt that Madeline McCann was kidnapped and was kidnapped by the uh, um, Sar Sargente, Robert Marek, and a couple people from the Portuguese um, police. We have photos, we have images, um, we, have, we have facts. Um, take them or leave them, but something's not happening in Portugal. Uh, and it's in, in um, this next case we're going to be doing is definitely related to Madeline McCann. That and about six other ones. So thank you, and good night, guys. Any, anything else? Am I missing something? I know I threw all my, my props. Okay. Good night, and I'm sorry about not getting to that uh, thing, that case and that other thing. Okay. Good night, guys. Good night.